Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to my channel for another video. Today we are going grocery shopping. I am getting prepared for the start of our new homeschooling year as I'm filming this. Of course, when you guys see it, it will have already passed. But part of getting prepared to start a new homeschool year is making sure that I have gone to the grocery store because gone are the summer days when I can just go to the grocery store in the middle of the day. Now we are transitioning back into our homeschool routine where grocery shopping and errands all move to the weekends. Um, and so I obviously need to have groceries in my house uh, for our the start of our new homeschool year I shared with you guys in my um, schedule chore assignment video uh, something new that I'm doing in my homeschool this year and that is assigning each of my kids a lunch day where they will prepare lunch for themselves and their siblings and you guys had a lot of questions on that and you actually a ton of you asked me to make a whole video on it so I figured I would throw that into this video because uh, that is a new system we are implementing in our home and naturally I did have to like prepare the menu ahead of time to go to the grocery store. So I want to thank today's video sponsor. It is Built Bar. I am continuing to work with Built Bar because I love them so much and I definitely have a box of Built Bars on hand to start our new homeschool year. So that is what this video is going to be. I'll tell you more about Built Bar here in a second, but we are going to go grocery shopping and I am going to explain to you guys my kids' new lunch system and hopefully answer a lot of questions uh, that you guys had surrounding that. I just took my box of Built Bars out of my pantry. You guys know these are my absolute favorite protein bars. Not only do they taste delicious, but the macro counts on these are amazing. This mix box contains 18 different flavors all inside here and this box is completely gluten free. So if you've never tried Built Bar, I recommend starting with the mix box so you can identify like what flavor you really like versus getting a box that you know is all one flavor I love every single flavor in here this summer I've been really loving all of the fruit flavored bars but the coconut almond one this blue one is still definitely my favorite it tastes literally like an almond joy bar so you guys know I'm a huge protein bar eater I have to eat protein bars and drink protein shakes to reach my protein goals each day it's just a girl can only eat so much eggs and chicken and especially with being um, like dairy free and not having protein Greek yogurt or anything like that it's it's been a little bit more of a challenge so I love my Built Bars. Every bar contains at least 17 grams of protein and they range in calorie count from around 130 to 170. Um, they are made with 100% real chocolate, zero guilt, and they have only natural flavoring. So we love Built Bar in my house. I eat a bar every single day. It's a part of my daily eating routine. It's either my morning snack or my afternoon snack every single day and so I love having my Built Bars. So you guys can check out Built Bar using the link down below. I also have a 15% off coupon code that works for everything that's on their website, not just the protein bars. So if you see any other things on there that you wanna try, I've tried a few of their other products that I also really love because I was eating Built Bar and recommending them to my personal training clients long before they were sponsoring my content. So it's like a dream come true. So I absolutely love my Built Bars. So my link and coupon code Ashley15 will save you 15% on your order from Built Bar and all that information will be down below. But now I'm going to throw one of my Built Bars in my purse and head off to the grocery store to get stocked up for our new school year. So like I told you guys, I made a master lunch list of as many things as I could think of and each week I'm just going to pull five from this list, write it on that menu, then the kids can choose from there, and then uh, just rotate through. You know, by, if I do, this is about six weeks of lunches, so by the time I get back to the first five, I feel like that is definitely enough variety. I was drawing a blank here, so I'm still filling some things in, but if you guys wanna take a little look at um, when the ramen noodles are those gluten-free ones from Costco, my kids love those. Uh, so I have some different ideas here that you guys might want to try in your 
school days for quick and easy lunches that are relatively healthy. So here is my dinner menu plan. I will always leave one day open for things that come up or leftovers or eating out, like I'm not sure. Um, but for back to school time, I like to keep it real, real simple, as you guys can see, just very easy meals. Um, and then this was the part that I got a lot of questions on. So I told you guys, my kids are gonna be making lunch for themselves and their siblings on their assigned day as a part of our homeschool this year. So what I'm gonna do every single week is I'm going to list out five options there for the five days of school um, and then they are free to choose from this list basically so it's not like a free-for-all <laughs> um, because obviously I need to have the the groceries on hand for the things that they want to make so we're starting off easy and we are gonna build into that um, my oldest daughter can definitely utilize the stove and make some more things but for the first week of school, I wanted to keep it really simple. So they will look at this list, choose what they're having and what they're making for their siblings that day. And I wrote, you know, that they must have a fruit and vegetable with their lunch. So that is what our lunch situation is looking like. Um, and I will do that every week. So I made a list of about 30 different lunch items that they like. And so every week when I meal plan, I'll list out five options and then that is what they will choose from to make for everyone and they each have their assigned day which i talked about in that um chore and schedule video video but a lot of you had questions on how i was going to do this so yes i'm going to purchase the items needed for five different lunches and then they can choose from the list what they want to make for everybody and that's mom's rule there and they don't mind that so that's how we're doing lunch so the lunches are listed here for them, and then these are our dinners for the week. So I've made my grocery list, so now we head off to Costco. So there is one total, 553, and then here is the other total 1475 so today was an expensive day at costco okay two hours later and a whole lot of sweat later i have the costco haul out to show you guys from the title you can tell this was a very expensive haul but i want to cut to the chase and tell you guys why it was expensive we have been budgeting and saving for a new laptop for our homeschool and so today was the day i was going to purchase that it was on sale we got a 13 inch macbook pro normally they're around like $1,300 at Costco today. It was on sale for um, right around a thousand. So that is, I'm not going to make you watch through and think I got a thousand dollars of food because I didn't, but it was a part of my total um, today for this back to school Costco haul. So I wanted to just throw that right out of the gate so nobody gets mad at me. But now I'm going to take you around and show you all the food that we got for our back to school grocery haul. Okay, so I didn't organize it so we're just gonna make our way around uh, I got a lot of onions <laughs> um, I got my, this organic Mediterranean salad I got some sliced cheese for the kids for sandwiches for lunch I got um, these organic kettle barbecue chips for my kids for lunch uh, we these ones are like super clean and they don't have dyes and gross stuff so we love that Costco has those now um, I got these tortilla chips they're our favorite I got some bear apple chips and then we got the boom chicka pop popcorn back there uh, over here I needed some new baking sheets these are made in America and I love that and they are really really good this whole thing of three was only $21 so that was a really good deal I am clearing out my pots and pans of anything with non-stick it's something that I've wanted to do for a while but I wasn't gonna just throw things away so anyway we needed a new set so I went with this stainless steel set um, and I needed that was on I've been setting aside money for that as well uh, coming over here 
I got some more protein bars. I got some chicken breast for sandwiches. Got some pears. That is the laptop right there. We got some mini sweet peppers. My kids like having these on the side with their sandwiches for school. We got some organic grapes. Got some chicken wings, some broccoli, Brussels sprouts, romaine, some chopped onion, some Kinder's teriyaki, organic teriyaki sauce. My kids are on a sourdough bread kick lately, and so um, I went ahead and got them this organic sourdough. I got some organic eggs, organic bananas, a golden melon, organic Dave's bread for Jake, croissants for sandwiches, bagels for breakfast. Um, these are the uncooked flour tortillas my kids love. Some organic and gluten-free perfect bars for snacks, Kodiak cakes, tri-tip for Jake to do on the Traeger, some organic chicken breasts, organic chopped salad, uh, organic blueberries back there, popcorners for snacks, oat milk. Uh, this is something new that I got for myself. I will do this probably with a cauliflower rice. I wanted to make like a really easy lunch for myself next week. And this is gluten-free, dairy-free, fully cooked, and gonna be really easy. So I wanted to give that a try. I've never tried it before. I got some garlic, we got some elderberry, got some everything bagel seasoning, got some new Kinder's organic wood-fired garlic. I thought that would be really good on some roasted veggies. Got our favorite salsa, some organic potatoes, some egg whites. These, uh, I don't buy a lot of frozen foods because they're just full of preservatives. Every now and then my kids will bit ask for something and you know, I get it. It's not gonna hurt them every once in a while, but this is something that I get all of the time because they're organic and very clean um, and it's a really easy, yummy lunch for them. So we love those burritos. Got some organic carrots, some organic creamy peanut butter. Our Tupperware situation needed a clean out, so I got some glass uh, Tupperwares there, some trash bags. We were out, my, my kids were out of um, shower stuff, so we got some conditioner, and we got some shampoo for them, and then the Honest Body Wash is what I get them usually, so... That's that. I was out of hand sanitizer. I like to just always have one in the car, especially with like starting back to school, going to parks and things. Even before the crazy time of the world, I've always had my kids wash their hands when there's not a sink before they eat or whatever. So sanitizer, organic black beans, organic refried beans. And <laughs> this is funny, but they won't have this at Christmas. They had the Star Wars advent calendar, um, for my boys. They didn't have a, a girl themed one yet. I'm hoping they'll get one because usually the boys do one and the girls do one. So we got that. So that is going to be it for this back to school Costco haul and explanation on how I'm doing my new lunch menu system for my kids. I hope that it helps you um, just get a better idea of how we're doing things. I will keep you posted on how it all works out as we get into our school year. Be sure to check out Built Bar using the link down below and save 15% on your order. Please give me a thumbs up on this video. It's a free way to support my channel and I really appreciate it and I will see you all in my next video really soon. Bye guys.